special. Up next, a magician who wants to show America the dark side of magic. He's Dan Sperry. My name's Dan Sperry, 25 years old, and I do magic tricks. I was four years old when I first got into magic. My grandparents took me to see David Copperfield, and I just flipped out. I am intrigued by people who are a little bit dark, a little edgy, and he ticks all those boxes for me. I like to call myself an anti-conjurer, which basically just means I'm against kind of what is the mainstream, stereotypically what a magician should do. Kind of a neighborhood weirdo. Tonight I want to show America that there's more to magic than just a guy pulling, you know, scarves out of a top hat with a girl in a bikini next to him. Dan Sperry sticks out. He's got that wow factor, but can he bring it to a bigger stage? There are definitely uh, darker influences in what I do because I like to leave people maybe feeling a little uncertain. Settled. I like to shock them, freak them out, gross them out. Tonight, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do something that will leave America speechless. All right, from Las Vegas, Nevada, here is Dan Sperry. Mr. Howie Mandel, and I don't think I've ever seen Howie move that fast. That was magical. That leap from there to the other side of Piers was amazing. Oh my God. Now, um, Sharon, now. <laughs> now, was that buzz by accident? I thought it was buzz. Oh, okay. That was just Howie leaping across the table. So no buzz. That X is not real. Oh, oh, Howie. <laughs> Howie, are you okay? Seriously, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm... It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. It's you're not... very. Uh, you're. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you were great, and then you came over here. It's like I'm stuck in a Tim well, Burton movie. <laughs> Dan Sperry, you are hereby charged with the attempted murder of Howie Mandel <laughs> using dental floss and a polo mitt. Congratulations. <laughs> And clearly, Sharon, you're excited. You're happy. You loved it. <laughs> Can you actually talk, Sharon? <laughs> Why is it so funny? Why is it so funny? 
<laughs> she can't control herself. I take that as you like this, Sharon. Right? I do. <laughs> How did it go for you, Dan? <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> All right, my man. To vote for Dan, call 1 866 60 AGT 11. That's 1 866 60 248 11. Or text the word vote to 4811. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dan Sperry with blood coming out of his eyes. After the break, our last act performed, then it's up to you to decide. What do you want to see in the semifinals? The big responsibility. We'll be right back. <laughs>